you know, I, I said, as I always say, I, li I like Trump. That's my opinion. I like Trump. And what she said was really interesting. She said, yeah, but what about abortion? Yeah. How can somebody, how can, it, how can anybody not believe that women have a right to... Kill their babies. To, ...to abortion? And what was fascinating about that, there was no room... And I said to her, that's an opinion. It's not a matter of fact. I said, you know, the reality about abortion and believing whether women have a right to abortion is not a, is not a matter of fact. Mm. It's an opinion and a choice mm. and something that's up for debate. And she, I could see she was bewildered for a second because in her head, she just couldn't understand. How can you support Trump? Because how can you support somebody who doesn't believe that women have a right to have an abortion? And it's like, in her head, and it's, you talk about propaganda and what's right, what's wrong. In her head, there was no room for the fact that women having an abortion could not, people might have a different opinion, or it could be argued that it's the wrong thing to do. There was no, there wasn't a glimmer. And that's that, because she's never met anyone who disagreed with that statement. Yes, possibly. Yeah. So all yeah. the men she knows are weak, cowardly men yeah. who are quite willing to let babies die. Yeah. All the women who agree with her all want that special right that put their personal convenience over the life of the most vulnerable. Yeah. So she doesn't met anyone who disagrees, so therefore yeah. she thinks Trump's evil for, yeah, for not agreeing. Agree. Yeah, and, and it's, but it, but she's never met anybody who said that is a matter of opinion. I think yeah. that was the thing. I didn't say, oh, abortion is wrong or, no. or whatever. I just said, that view is an opinion. It's not a fact. Yeah. It isn't a fact that women should have, they always have the choice to have an abortion. Yeah. It's an opinion. And it's a generally accepted opinion of, of most people. And, and you and I have talked about yeah. this before. It's not mentioned in the constitution, in the bill of rights, yeah. in anything in America. Yeah. So people say it's my right. Well, it's not in the constitution. The word abortion is not mentioned in yeah. any of the founding documents whatsoever. But it goes back to it goes back to this thing about propaganda. Hillary Clinton wants to charge people engaged in propaganda. Yeah. And therefore Hillary Clinton, <laughs> whose views were probably similar to that girls about abortion, yeah. if somebody puts that propaganda saying abortion is wrong, criminally charged yeah, well, and they're in prison. That's where it she, goes. She would it? be saying propaganda is saying that fetus is a baby. That's propaganda. Yeah. Because it's not a baby, yeah. it's a fetus. It only yeah. becomes a baby when you take it out of the womb. That's yeah. propaganda calling yeah. it a baby. You go to jail. And I made the point to this girl. I said, you now know there are states in America because of course the abortion laws have devolved into the individual states. That's now. how it used to be before it went federal, yeah. Yeah. Now it's, it's well, gone back It's now, gone back to yeah. it now. But now you may have to correct me on this my understanding is now that you can abort the baby full term in certain places in america you can here in this country people in this country think it's 24 weeks you can abort a baby in the uk up to one hour up to a second of it being delivered if you can get a doctor to sign off on it and to get a doctor to sign off on it all you've got to do is show that the baby's deformed it can be a club foot it can be a cleft palate or that it's going to damage you mentally so severely that your life's more important. Any of those things, you can you can abort a full term baby in this country, in the UK. Mm. And how they abort it is they get a hypodermic needle full of poison. It goes into the uh, womb and on the scanner, they've got to find the baby's heart. It's, it's pushed straight into the baby's heart where the baby then reacts and screams and the poison's injected into the baby's heart. Then the doctor has to go in inside the woman and break the baby into bits and pull the baby out bit by bit. Happens in this country. Not that, I mean, you're probably looking that, I don't know the figures, you're probably looking a couple of dozen a year maybe or something like Still that. But in America, yeah, and you, you, if you've got and the doctor sign it off in some states in America, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I pointed this out to this guy. I didn't know it happened in this country yeah. as much as that. She's quite shocked. Of course they are. Because she's not been told that before. She's not heard that from anyone. And not, not read anything about it and doesn't want to know anything about mm -hmm. it. And I don't know if you know, Just I was going to talk about this later, but in connection with abortion, so the NHS are now sending condolence letters to women who've miscarried. So if a woman miscarried, say, 20 weeks or whatever, yeah. they're going to say, I'm sorry about the loss of your baby. Yeah. And you have this awful, staggering hypocrisy. Yeah. That's happening. At the same the time, yeah. 
babies of old, older than that, fully viable yep. babies, are being aborted. Yep. In, um, uh, you know, w w how, how does that happen? How does that dichotomy, that variance, happen? This only happens with ideology, where you're not looking for it for it to make sense. Mm. You've been told this good, this bad. A woman who loses her baby, I, I would imagine it's horrendous. Yeah, you yeah. know, it must be horrendous. But a woman with the same baby at the same age can abort it. Mm. So it's either a baby or it's not a baby. And then when you have premature babies born at 20 weeks, 22 weeks, we spend millions saving them. Yeah. But the bed next door, we're killing that 20 week yeah. old baby and ripping it apart inside and dragging it out. None of it makes any sense. And if you sent a letter to the woman who'd had an abortion saying condolences on the loss of your baby, yeah. it would be horrific, a horrific thing. It would be a, a, a horror, and, and the person who sent the letter would be sacked or whatever. Yeah. But you've got that awful hypocrisy there. So many to... women, we, there's some studies on this, I can't remember them now. So many women regret having abortions mm. because they're told it's nothing. Mm. and then they go through the abortion and deep down inside they always knew it wasn't nothing mm. and what normally kicks it in is when they then have their first child mm. and they're holding their first child going I, made I, a I killed something yeah. just like you yeah. it would have grown to be just yeah. like and that's when it really affects women yeah an interesting when we were talking my my one of my sons was with me in this um when we were having this meal this girl referenced that a friend she had who'd had an abortion and said she couldn't have coped with it at such and such an age or whatever. And then my son said, well, actually, one of my good friends is Fred or whatever, I don't know his name <coughs> His girlfriend got pregnant when they were 17. He said they've got a really nice family. Mm. He said they were considering that abortion. He said they've got a really nice family. They're a really happy couple. Mm. And, and, I was, and, and again, she was kind of flipping it, you know. So it's kind of all, but all these ideas are ingrained in people's minds certainly left-wing people and their their belief yeah. systems the answer should um, be be more careful yeah yeah we've got more contraceptives more contraception contraception now than ever before yeah different methods different modes it's all completely free in the uk but despite that there's still a quarter of a million abortions, abortions have you yeah when it started in 1968 i think it was there was 25,000 abortions the first year when yeah. they legalized abortion. It's gone up tenfold. And we've got more and more contraception and it's all completely free. Yeah. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.